All right, we're back. I'm going to try to sneak in a Thursday Night Football, uh, some picks in here for you. Uh, it is 4 o'clock right now, so I'll try to upload this in the next, you know, 10 minutes or so. Um, but wanted to get some picks for you because I said that in the last video. So we're going to jump right into it. Elijah Mitchell. It's the 49ers versus the Giants tonight. Elijah Mitchell, I'm going to go with his rush yards over. McCaffrey played 100% of the snaps last last game. 100 Elijah Mitchell didn't see the didn't see the field. Now it was a shortened week for them. McCaffrey gets injured all the time. I don't think they're going to run him as much uh, tonight, and maybe they were ready for that, and that's why they kind of saved uh, Mitchell. Um, but we're going to see. I think Mitchell gets a lot more time than usual tonight. We are going to look at his um, outlier lines right here, Elijah Mitchell. Let's just go right to it. They have him at 29 and a half on here. Um, again, he is capable of getting, you know, over here. So he's <clears throat> he's definitely going to get more playing time tonight. I, I, he's not going to not see the floor or the field again. Uh, they're going against the Giants, who go up 27th worst in 144 rushing yards per game. They get rushed on a lot. Um, in terms of game script also, they're going to be up. So, again, relying on the rush down. Uh, you know, in the second half, when they're when they're leading, they're not going to be wanting to pass the pass the ball as much. Uh, again, leading on the rush, and then again, McCaffrey. They don't. It's the third game of the year. They do not want to kill McCaffrey this early. Um, so Elijah Mitchell, he's their backup bit or backup running back. Um, I think he gets the call tonight, and I think he's going to get way over this. And prize picks, it's thirty and a half, but I think he's going to go way over that, probably around fifty yards or so. Um, but that's my first play. Really like that one. Um, and again, we're going to go right back to the game script for this pick as well. We're going Brock Purdy, and we're going under his pass completions of 19 and a half. I like this not only due to the game strip, because again, the 49ers are going to be up in this game. Second half comes around, they probably won't want to throw the football as much. Um, that's just how things go. They'll rely on the rush a little bit more. So these two picks kind of go hand in hand. But on the on the same note there, look at Purdy's. So this is, yeah, pass completions. I don't know if I said that, but pass completions we're doing. Under 19 and a half, he's literally gone 90% of the time. He's only gone over it once. The entire year last year, he went over it twice. So they're going to rely on the run. Um, especially in the second half here, uh, he'll probably get really close like this, but again, I just, I don't see him going over. Um, yeah, so 19 and a half pass completions for Brock Purdy. They'll get out early. Hopefully they, they, you know, beat up on this Giants team. Um, like they've beat up on a few other teams. So, uh, yeah, Brock Purdy's under is, is looking real good. If you're someone that goes just directly off the odds, uh, the over is favored technically at one mi or minus 122. Um, but again, just off game script, off uh, how I feel like the game of this this game is going to go, um, I'm really feeling the under. And then again, we're going right back to game script here. So we're going to this isn't just specifically game script, but Saquon's injured, meaning I think they're going to be throwing the ball a little bit more. Um, so we're going Slayton. We're going Slayton's receptions. It's 3.0, which is nice. Uh, we're going over. He has hit that, I think, in both games so far this year already. Um, yep. This is longer receptions. Yeah, so he's hit this three mark, so he's pushed. I know it's showing two and a half on, on Outlier, but uh, he's pushed this 3.0 line in both of these games, and that was with Saquon playing. Uh, Saquon, you know, they're not going to be able to rush the ball as much as they want to. Uh, and again, if they're playing from behind, they're going to be throwing the ball. Um, and Slayton, uh, as well as Hodges, or Hodgins, <coughs> sorry, um, Slayton and Hodgins are going to be, you know, active tonight. You could pick either one. I'm going to look, show you Hodgins as well. But uh, I'm picking Slayton here. He's got it even against the even against the uh, Cowboys when they got destroyed. He still had that 3.0, um, and then against Arizona in that closer game. 
they came back and he still got it. So I'm feeling really good about him. Um, I'm looking at probably five receptions for him, uh, maybe even more, because again, Saquon's not playing, so they got to look elsewhere for their offense. Uh, we will look at Hodgins real quick. You could go. I could go either way on these. I just picked. Uh, I just picked Slayton. Just. I think he's going to be a little bit more involved. Hodgins obviously has that uh, potential as well. They have the same line, so it's 3.0 for each of them. Hodgins had four last game. I mean, no one did really anything against the Giants. I mean, against the uh, Cowboys um, in Week One. So either of these guys, I'm I'm happy with. I'll probably mess around and do uh, the play with Hodgins as well as Slayton. Not together, but just uh, couple them with Purdy and Mitchell. So those are the those are the three and a half plays uh, if you count Hodgins in there as well. Um, this is what I'm rocking with. So I've already put the put the bet in, but I will place it again. Why not? Um, but yeah, Thursday night football. Hopefully it's it's a good game, but uh, we're really hoping for the. Uh, for the Niners to handle their business early here. All right, that's going to do it. Let's make some money tonight. Peace out.